What if I told you that the ground beneath your feet is about to shift? That's right, scientists have just announced that the San Andreas Fault is about to do something massive. If you're not familiar with the San Andreas Fault, it's the infamous fault line that stretches over 800 miles through California, which has a reputation for unleashing catastrophic earthquakes. So, grab your hard hats, folks, and get ready to ride the earthquake wave with me as we dive into the recent announcement made by scientists, what it means for the people of California, and how we can prepare for what's to come. The San Andreas Fault is a 800-mile-long fault line that runs through California and is the boundary between the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. The fault runs from the Gulf of California to the Mendocino Coast and is capable of producing some of the largest earthquakes in the world. The history of the San Andreas Fault is one of seismic activity and destruction. The fault has experienced a number of large earthquakes, with the most devastating being the 1906 San Francisco earthquake, which had a magnitude of 7.9 on the Richter scale and caused widespread damage and loss of life. The San Andreas Fault is a transformed fault, which means that it moves horizontally. The Pacific Plate moves northwest relative to the North American Plate at a rate of about 2 inches per year, causing the fault to slip and release energy in the form of earthquakes. Scientists have been studying the fault for decades to better understand its behavior and to predict when the next major earthquake might occur. While they have made significant progress in this area, predicting earthquakes remains an incredibly difficult task, and the San Andreas Fault continues to pose a significant threat to the people of California. Recently, scientists announced that the San Andreas Fault is about to do something massive, which has caused concern among residents and experts alike. The announcement is based on new data and modeling that has revealed an unusual amount of seismic activity along the fault line. This activity suggests that the San Andreas Fault is building up stress that could potentially be released in the form of a large earthquake. The data comes from the deployment of new seismometers that have been installed along the fault line, which are capable of detecting small earthquakes that were previously undetected. The modeling uses this data to predict how the fault is likely to behave in the future. While the announcement has been met with some skepticism, it has also raised concerns about the potential impact of a major earthquake on the people and infrastructure of California. A large earthquake on the San Andreas Fault could result in significant damage to buildings, bridges, and other structures, as well as widespread power outages and other disruptions. The announcement has also sparked a renewed effort to improve earthquake preparedness in the state, including efforts to retrofit buildings and infrastructure to make them more resistant to earthquake damage. Additionally, officials are urging residents to have emergency kits and plans in place in case of a major earthquake. While it is impossible to predict when the next major earthquake on the San Andreas Fault will occur, the recent announcement serves as a reminder of the need for continued vigilance and preparedness in the face of this ongoing threat. The potential impact of a major earthquake on the San Andreas Fault is significant, both in terms of its impact on human life and the economy. While the exact extent of the damage is difficult to predict, experts believe that a large earthquake on the San Andreas Fault could have a number of different effects. One of the most immediate and obvious impacts of a large earthquake would be structural damage to buildings, bridges, and other infrastructure. This could result in the collapse of buildings, which could lead to loss of life and injury. Additionally, the damage to infrastructure could result in power outages, water shortages, and other disruptions to daily life. Another potential impact of a large earthquake would be fires. The shaking caused by the earthquake could disrupt gas lines, causing fires to break out across the affected area. This could result in significant damage to buildings and could make it more difficult for first responders to provide aid to those in need. Landslides are also a concern in areas with steep terrain, such as the San Gabriel Mountains, which could result in the destruction of roads and homes. Additionally, the earthquake could trigger a tsunami, which could impact coastal areas. The economic impact of a large earthquake on the San Andreas Fault could also be significant. The loss of buildings and other infrastructure could result in billions of dollars in damage, and the disruption to daily life could result in significant economic losses. Businesses could be forced to shut down for extended periods of time, and the rebuilding process could take years. 
In addition to the immediate impact of a large earthquake, there is also the potential for longer-term effects. For example, the psychological impact of a major earthquake on residents could be significant, and some people may suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. Additionally, the destruction of infrastructure and loss of life could result in a decline in property values and population. In order to mitigate the potential impact of a large earthquake on the San Andreas Fault, it is important for residents and officials to take steps to prepare for the event. This includes efforts to retrofit buildings and infrastructure, as well as efforts to develop emergency plans and kits. By taking these steps, it is possible to minimize the impact of a large earthquake and to help California recover more quickly in the aftermath. While the potential impact of a major earthquake on the San Andreas Fault is significant, there are steps that can be taken to prepare for the event and to mitigate its impact. Here are some tips to help you prepare. Develop an emergency plan. Create a plan that outlines what you and your family will do in the event of an earthquake. This should include things like where to meet, how to communicate with one another, and what to do if you are separated. Build an emergency kit. Your emergency kit should include things like non-perishable food, water, first aid supplies, flashlights, and batteries. Be sure to also include any necessary medication and important documents. Secure your home. Take steps to retrofit your home to make it more resistant to earthquake damage. This may include things like securing heavy furniture and appliances to the wall and reinforcing your foundation. Stay informed, stay up to date on the latest earthquake news and alerts. Make sure you know how to access emergency information in your area and be aware of any evacuation routes or shelter locations. Practice earthquake drills. Practice earthquake drills with your family so that you are all familiar with what to do in the event of an earthquake. This can help to reduce panic and increase preparedness. In addition to these steps, it is important for officials to take steps to prepare for a major earthquake on the San Andreas Fault. This may include things like improving infrastructure, developing evacuation plans, and investing in early warning systems. While it is impossible to predict when the next major earthquake on the San Andreas Fault will occur, taking steps to prepare can help to minimize its impact and increase the chances of recovery in the aftermath. By working together, we can help to protect ourselves and our communities from this ongoing threat. The recent announcement by scientists that the San Andreas Fault is about to do something massive has raised concerns about the potential impact of a major earthquake on the people and infrastructure of California. While it is impossible to predict when the next major earthquake will occur, it is important for residents and officials to take steps to prepare for the event and to mitigate its impact. By retrofitting buildings and infrastructure, developing emergency plans and kits, and staying informed, we can help to reduce the impact of a major earthquake on the San Andreas Fault. That's all we have for you today. We hope you found this video informative and helpful in understanding the potential impact of a major earthquake on the San Andreas Fault. Remember, the ground beneath our feet is always shifting, and it's important for us to stay vigilant and prepared in the face of this ongoing threat. So, pack your emergency kits, secure your home, and stay informed, because you never know when the ground might do the cha-cha slide.